Back, I'm Don Bell with Sports. The Eagles claimed wide receiver Travis Fulgham off waivers in August of 2020. He lit the league on fire for a four week stretch before disappearing on the depth chart. The 25 year old had a good day at camp today, and he's a player to watch moving forward. For more on day six of camp, we bring in Pat Gallen live from the Novacare Complex. Pat, what's up? DB, the intensity ramped up here today at the Novacare Complex. The pads came out for the Eagles. So did an injured Devontae Smith, and we got a chance to talk with a local kid, Joe Flacco, for the first time this camp. As the birds put on the pads for the first time this summer, Devontae Smith was left to watch. Smith has a sprained MCL and could miss three weeks. Nick Sirianni says he'll prepare in other ways off the field. Being in the training room, working to attack the training room and, and get himself healthy and uh, and get and just be mentally in it when he's, you know, when he's out, you know. So the meetings are huge for him just to stay mentally sharp, and he, and he is very mentally sharp. Speaking of sharp, Sirianni raved about Audubon, New Jersey native Joe Flacco. The 36-year-old backup quarterback is entering year 14. Sirianni sees him almost like another coach on the field. Man, this guy's played a lot of football, and that, I think that's a really good compliment we can give a guy. Like, because that's, that's saying, and the coaches mean, that's saying, this guy's really smart. This guy knows what he's doing, and so I think you just see that. You know, he has a good feel for the offense. Flacco appreciates the kind words from his coach. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, you know, because you have seen a lot, but at the same time, you know, this, this offense that we're running is new for me. So um, I think I think I can re I can relate it to things faster than obviously, you know, a younger guy. As for being back in the area, Flacco is excited to play in front of friends and family. I obviously have a lot of connections to this place and, you know, grew up watching these guys' games on TV and being able to see the stadium any time I was coming over the bridge. So to now be, be in town here and possibly being able to play and, you know, put that jersey on and being able to play over there in that stadium is definitely pretty special. So Flacco, the backup, spoke very highly of the starter, Jalen Hurts, saying that he's been very impressed by what he's seen both on and off the field. But as for Flacco, it looks like they're going to be leaning heavily on his veteran presence as he's been around the NFL for more than a decade. We'll be back with more at 5. For now, we're live outside the Novacare Complex. I'm Pat Gowan for CBS3 Eyewitness Sports. Don, back to hey, you. Hey, Pat, I've been off for a couple days. You get a fresh cut? I did. Thank you for noticing. I appreciate that very much. It, yeah, it's, it's a sharp. We've, very been tight cut. Kate, all, we've all been talking about it. You look good. It looks nice. Oh. Just, just saying is all. Thank you so much, Don. Yes. Yeah, I can't see you, but I'm sure you're, you're well dressed too. Yeah, I made it awkward. Thank you. We'll see you in a little <laughs> bit. Coming up.